Hey friends, welcome back to the next system test with my ADT Unimode 10UD conventional 10 zone fire alarm control panel. In this test, we're going to be testing some simplex alarms today. A lot of people like simplex. This right here is a simplex 4901-9805 fire alarm horn only. And going across over here, we have a simplex 4903-9805. 9219 fire alarm horn strobe. This right here will be set on code 3, I believe, and this one is set on march time. So both will be doing different coding. Coming down here to our first fire alarm pull station, we have a simplex 2099-9754 fire alarm T-bar. And then going over, we have a dual action version. This is a simplex 4909-903 addressable fire alarm pull station. It's a little bit newer and since this is a conventional fire alarm control panel I do have the pull station wired as conventional. And today we'll also be testing the medical part of my fire alarm system but for now we're just going to be testing the fire alarms. Alright, it's about to get real loud. I think we'll test the dual action fire alarm pull station first. Here we go. Push and pull down. That was loud. <laughs> Two horns going at once. As we can see, I do have it wired up so that the strobe continues to flash even though the alarm system is silenced. And I do like that feature. We'll go ahead and pull the second pull station. Here we go. ahead and silenced it from the Firelight ANN80 fire alarm enunciator. It's basically a mini fire alarm control panel that's connected to the main control panel. And the key activates the buttons. Okay, we'll go ahead and reset the pull stations and then move on. So these T-bars are extremely easy to recite. You just stick the key in, open it, and then close it. On the inside there's just a button. And then same thing for the double action one. Now a little info about this double action one. Yes, it is technically double action because it has this push part right here, but it is actually not essential. You could just pull the alarm without pushing it in. It just adds a little extra barrier. Just a little fun fact I thought I'd share. And we can go ahead and reset the fire alarm control panel. All right, everyone. I think we're gonna get a little crazy. <laughs> It's not often I've done this, but I just set both of the fire alarms to continuous. And if you don't know what that is, well, you're about to. <laughs> I haven't done this that often, and I'm about to do it. And I'm going to use the fire drill button on the enunciator to do it. All right, and three, two, one. was loud. <laughs> okay, that is enough of that. Reset the fire alarm system and that is done. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and show you the medical pull station. This is the 32AXK2 blue pull station that has a custom label as medical, which is pretty cool. And then going up, I have a GECG24PWW Gentex Commander 3 white horn strobe and it has a green strobe and it is set on 60 candela and it is set on chime as this is a multi-tone alarm which is pretty cool uh, since this is also a medical alarm I also have it set up so that the medical corridor light by Tectone will also turn on when the pull station is pulled 
So we can go ahead and pull it and see what happens. Since this is wired up as a medical alarm, that also means that these Tactone pull cords will also work. So we can go ahead and test that out. I've gone ahead and programmed the last relay to also activate for our medical emergency. So that means all three extra devices that I have on the system, which is the siren, the horn strobe, and the corridor light. They all three will go off at the same time for a medical pull station that's pulled. So we'll go ahead and pull the last one and see everything go off. That gets loud. <laughs> so I was thinking, what if we set off every notification appliance on the fire alarm system. Turn down your volume, this is about to get crazy loud. All right, in three, two, one. Okay, that was the same. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> All right, everyone, have a good day.